When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Right, girl faces on guy faces, um, welcome back to um, the channel. Um, good to see you if you're a new viewer, um, good to see you if you're an old viewer, it's good to have you back. Um, right guys, we have been in a new location for a bit, we are looking at some new product from the guys over at Sound Effects, um, and today we've got the Boss TE2 Terra Echo. It's from a new range of Boss pedals um, that basically have this, D, um, this dynamic processor in them that basically react when you dig in a little bit further. Um, so with this one, we get an like a kind of echoey delay effect. Uh, we also get this kind of phaser effect, um, which can sound okay. It sounds a little bit weird. I think it sounds um, great for the, kind of the Pink Floyd-y kind of vibe, the clean vibe. Um, but in relation to a big fat distortion tone, it might get a little bit washed out. I don't know what you think, Bibbs. I don't like it. You don't like it? Straight up. Straight up. Um, well, I kind of do for the Floyd thing. I like it for, for ambient cleans, but it's definitely a pedal that does one job really well, maybe not does all jobs really well. Um, so let's go through anyway. So first things first, we are running through our PRS Paul Reed Smith SE 30 watt valve head. We've got a review of that down below somewhere. Check that out, or it'll be somewhere about the world. Um, we normally put it on a fret, but it's a pain in the ass. So we're just going to put it somewhere in the world. Because people just turn off the comments, which I normally do, turn off annotations. Oh, right. And then you can't see them. Leave annotations on, man. It, there's some fun stuff. Who knows? There'll be hidden shit in there. But then you get annoying pricks who pop things up in every single corner. Something here. Something All right, there, something yeah. There. Well, just turn them on for us. I like that. That's a good... good turn them on for us, because there might be some hidden secret shit in there. Who knows? Bane was in one of them. He was? Yeah, remember that. Comment if you found Bane. And if you found Bane, comment and let people know where Bane is. No, 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 don't, don't tell them where he is. No, no, is he, he's your special friend. Exactly. He's your secret. We're looking after you, guy. You're very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for you. You know. So anyway, we're running through this PRSSE. Um, cracking little lamp. We're turning the reverb right off because we have T2 to do all of our echoey delay kind of effects for us. And we're going to run it straight up, as I said, for the first little bit of the demo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dime it in a little bit. Not too much because as most effects pedals do, they just go rah, 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 rah and get dead proper mad. And that's no good for anyone. Um, so we're just going to keep it within the realms of possibility. Uh, and see how that sounds as well. So again, not playing anything particularly fancy because it will not want you to play anything fancy. It wants you to play nice and melodic. Um, so I'll keep in the key of A, maybe Dorian or something, who knows. Um, and just give you a little ambient vibe for your whatever day this video is released viewing. So here we go with the Terra Echo from Boss. So as you can tell, a pedal for one job specifically 
if I went into full balls mode and tried to shred through something by Marty Friedman, not Marty Feldman, because <laughs> that's bong, isn't it? Um, Marty Friedman, you would think me mad because it'd just be going, but down, down, shut down, 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 just everywhere, crazy. Oh, down, 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 down. It'd be big for this little fish cardboard box. Whatever it is, whatever that saying is in club land, it wouldn't sound great. Um, but let's try, let's put a little gain on there and just see if we can get any type of usability out of this pedal. <laughs> It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's not as bad as I was expecting, but it's not great. Yeah, I think what it does is because of the DP in there, it kind of thinks, oh, this is proper loud. So I'll kind of mellow the effect out a bit. But sometimes when you put like a snappy note in, it sees the treble spike and then it goes, oh, he wants, and puts tr someone transforming. Kick, cool, 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 cool. It's a transformer pedal. That's what it is. It's like Ragatron, the ultimate robot who transforms into a rag. Raggett's round his boss. I thought you meant two or three the reggae. Yeah, Ragga. Yeah, Ragga's round. Hey, it's all good. I don't know where I'm from. It's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so let's try that now by which we're going to ramp up the tone. We're going to ramp up the uh, feedback. We're going to ramp up the S time, which is basically the, just the space of that effect. Um, and see if we can get it to... Um, really floydy ambientness and then i'm going to kick on the hold function as well which allows us then to kind of lock in a photograph of that tone and it just keeps looping i'll add the old feedbacker pedal i don't know whether you guys have ever got into the old e feedbacker it was pretty crap at the time um, but it was good for the 80s metal um that kind of deal so let's do that we're just gonna ramp it up a little bit so tone up, feedback up, S time up, all at about two o'clock. I'm keeping the effects level the same. So now we've got, as you can see, this really kind of, fuck, it's like um, Doctor Who. I think I like it now. I can't, I don't think I'm in control of that anymore. It does its own thing anyway. So let's see if we can um, do that and then I'll hold it and we'll see what we get out of that. So. definitely a pedal for a job isn't it um it kind of reminds me of the storyman timeline effects pedal which is my father's knicker um and that kind of does all of this type of stuff but as an option to the delay whereas this is just what you get um dig in you'll end up getting some of these kind of digital phase three artifacts but if that's the sound you're after man it's a great pedal um and I can see it being used in a lot of rigs, to be honest with you. I think it's definitely the way people are going with delays at the minute. Awesome. Um, definitely for a certain job, though. 
So anyway, guys, keep in touch. Keep watching the channel. Um, see if you can find Bane. Like and comment and subscribe because we like subscribers. It allows us to get hold of sexy things for you guys to um, have ear pleasures from. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Autobots, start your engines! You must stop the